Brent, Xavier Samuel, and his father are shown traveling on an old country road at the start of the movie. For a little moment, Brent looks away from the glass, and when he looks back, he discovers a man who has been shot in the middle of the road. Brent's car hits a tree after swerving to avoid hitting the man, wounding him but killing his father. Six months later, Brent and his girlfriend Holly, Victoria Thane, have plans to go to a high school dance. Brent is asked out by Lola Stone, Robin McLevy, before he leaves the school, but he declines. Since the collision, Brent has avoided operating a motor vehicle. His girlfriend Holly drives him out for a makeout session, which we can see Lola watching. Brent rushes out with the family dog to a nearby cliffside after being dropped back off at his house before to the dance since his mother advises him to take a taxi instead. We observe Brent doing drugs and cutting himself with a razor blade that he wears as a necklace. Brent gets attacked from behind while listening to music, and his dog is stabbed. The dog returns to Brent's mother's house, where Holly had arrived to pick up Brent for the dance. She tries to take the dog to the vet, but it passes away before she can. There is no indication of what has happened to Brent, but an impromptu probe turns up his shattered music player. Then, while still chained to a chair, Brent awakens at Lola's house, where he finds Lola, her father, John Brumpton, and a lobotomized woman they refer to as Bright Eyes, and Scott Pendlebury, seated at a table. Brent will be Lola's date to the school dance of her dreams, which her father has transformed into in his home. Then, after loading a syringe with bleach, Lola injects it into Brent's voice box, paralyzing his ability to scream or communicate verbally. When Brent is unable to urinate, she threatens to hammer his penis to the chair and starts torturing him by making him suck on her finger. Brent kicks Lola after she yells an ominous remark about Holly, and he then manages to break free of his imprisonment. Brent is being pursued by Lola's father outside and up a tree, where he and Lola throw pebbles at Brent, bringing him to the ground. Brent is brought back inside by the two, who use knives to bind his feet to the floor. Then, through a scrapbook, Lola confesses that she has been kidnapping boys all her life, including the bleeding guy Brent saw that caused him to swerve and kill his father. Like she did with her previous victims, Lola uses a fork to carve a heart and her initials onto Brent's chest before liberally salting the open wounds. After winning the dancing competition and being proclaimed queen, Lola tells Brent that she is searching for her prince, who isn't him because he is just another frog. However, Lola tells her father secretly that he is her prince, and the two dance together. Brent is able to reach his razor blade necklace and starts to stealthily use it to hack at the ropes holding his arms together while he watches Lola and her father dance. Lola finds a dead animal after the dance, and her father rips down a mat on the floor to reveal a trapdoor. There are other of Lola's prior dates in the pit beneath the doors that Brent is not aware of, and he can hear them struggle to produce noise through their broken voice boxes as she teases them to sing for their supper. Lola has given them the same treatment as Brent. After the feeding, Lola announces that it is time to lobotomize Brent, something her father had previously done to one of her dates but is allowing Lola to do this time. Even though she complies with her father's instructions, she asks him for assistance, which allows Brent to escape his bonds and cut at Lola's father with his necklace of razor blades. When Lola's father tries to attack him, he viciously stabs him to death after managing to remove the blades holding his feet to the ground. Lola then attacks Brent, who manages to overpower her before throwing the father's body into the pit, where the nearly starving captives start to feast on the body. Then Lola stands up and throws Brent in, after which she becomes enraged and throws adjacent things at him before shutting the trapdoor on him. Brent kills the kidnappers as they approach him using a torch and hammer that Lola had tossed down. Then Lola reveals that Bright Eyes is her mother by smothering her with a pillow. Holly reflects on how Brent had told her that Lola Stone had asked him to the dance as the night goes on. Paul Valentine, a neighborhood cop, is informed by her of this information and makes a visit to the Stone's home. Paul enters the residence to take a look around after spotting bloody stains on the floor inside from a neighboring window. Brent activates the trapdoor after hearing noises coming from upstairs, drawing Paul's attention. Lola, however, surprises the police officer and rams a meat cleaver into his head as he unlocks the doors. Paul plunges down the cellar. Lola then makes a threat to kill Holly and subsequently Brent because he killed Holly's father. Brent discovers a big heap of bones in the hole after she goes. He succeeds in climbing out by utilizing them and the bodies. After then, Lola starts to stroll down the road while carrying a knife and a scrapbook as she prepares to carry out her vindictive mission. She recognizes Holly's car as it draws closer since Holly had grown inquisitive and had gone to the Stone's house as well. As the automobile draws near, Lola hides in a nearby bush and throws her scrapbook at it, stopping Holly's car. 
Holly is shocked when Lola appears, throws open the passenger side door, and tries to stab her as she is still reeling from what had transpired. A police cruiser can be seen approaching the Stone's home, and Holly is able to slip out of the automobile with Lola pursuing her. Holly is just barely missed by the automobile before it swerves and hits Lola. As Holly climbs inside the police vehicle, Brent astounds her. While Lola, who is seriously hurt but is still alive, creeps forward with the intention of killing the two, the two share a heartbreaking embrace. When Brent notices her coming up from behind them, he flips the car around, hitting Lola in the head and killing her. In the climactic scene, Brent and Holly arrive at his mother's house and she envelopes her son. Hey!